Now, News 2 at 4. The Tennessee State Senate advancing a resolution that will completely abolish slavery. Welcome back to News 2 at 4, everybody. I'm Erica Francis. There's currently a provision in the state constitution allowing slavery and indentured servitude as a punishment for prisoners. All but four Republicans voted against the measure. State Capitol Newsroom reporter Gerald Harris has more from Capitol Hill with reaction from both sides. Yeah, Democratic, Democratic lawmakers are calling for a closing of the loophole they say still exists in our Constitution. It was a bipartisan vote in the Tennessee Senate. I think it's time that we removed an exception that allows those who are incarcerated to be enslaved. While the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution abolished slavery, Article 1, Section 33 of the Tennessee State Constitution says that slavery and involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crimes, are forever prohibited in this state. I think that Tennessee taking this step is important. We're joining the likes of Alabama and Nebraska and other states across the nation. While the bill has support from both parties. Eyes 26, four days. Four Republican senators voted against the measure, including Senator Brian Kelsey, who was not interested in answering questions on why he voted no. Oh, I talked about it on the, uh, on the, on the floor. However, Republican Senator Joey Hensley stood by his vote against the bill. I didn't think it was necessary because the Constitution already says slavery will be forever prohibited. As far as those who say it's not necessary, it is. Our Constitution is a moral document. It should reflect the values of Tennessee. And the values of Tennessee should say that slavery and indentured servitude is forever prohibited. The House is set to vote on the joint resolution at a later date. Now, if the House passes the resolution, it then has to you, the voter, to decide on whether or not it becomes permanently a part of the state's constitution. Reporting in Nashville, Gerald Harris, News 2. Gerald, thanks so much.